Hey guys, John Planet Tech here, and today we're going to be going over an HTML in Flash tutorial. Um, sorry, it's been a little bit crazy with everything going on. The full description of what's actually been going on down below in case you guys need like a paragraph of just like what's been going on. But I decided I finally have some free time and relaxation to actually do some tutorials. So we're going to do this. We're going to make a full fledged HTML and Flash. So just real quick, I actually tried to do for the last two weeks. I've been trying to do some um, testing before I get on to this. However, while I can get Flash fully running, HTML on Copper Cube five and six are having actual issues with free movement, and this was tested on Congregate um, and some other alternative flash based websites so I can link those down below to where I'm actually having movement I can program it for like full FPS type movement and lock in mouse mouse so you can use your mouse as a look around um, and it's just not working so we're gonna work with flash however we're still gonna do some stuff that are flash and I'll show you and then I can actually show you what's been going on with that issue um, just to give you a heads up all right, so what are we going to be doing in this tutorial? First of all, I'm using Copper Cube 5. However, if you have Copper Cube 6, they've removed Flash, so you'll have to do this through HTML. However, both tutorial um, uploads will be up on Congregate um, or Newgrounds. That way I can show you guys both of them. What are we going to be doing? A menu system. I think a lot of games should have a basic menu. Um, a lot of them just load you straight into the game. I like having a menu so you can see what the game looks like. Some, you know, it's a very controlled environment, so you can actually show off some like tech demo stuff. So I can have like more models in the menu. I can have a lot of stuff and show off some cool, you know, controlled environment stuff. Um, but in this in this ca example case tutorial, we're going to be doing, doing something very simple. So this is just basically um, a controlled environment. It is using the pre-made room maker and um, the system. We have a GUI. I actually have a plane. So this is a vertical billboard. And I have another one. I have a box. And then I have, again, yeah, the room. And then I have a camera. So when we load up the camera, the flash is going to show us a simple scene. Also, we have, it goes to another, another scene. This is our intro scene, animated intro scene, which we'll get to next. We also have a parallax effect. So we can move the mouse and it will move the camera. So the code for this, okay, so we're, we're going to move, we're going to do the camera stuff first. So all we need is to go to scripted behaviors, download more and the, go to the Copper Cube site and it's going to give us a whole bunch of links. You go to your documents and inside your documents folder um, is actually going to be a Copper Cube folder and inside there is um, where you can do dump this. And then that's that for that. For the effect of this plane, there's a vertical billboard. When cursors moved over something, We're going to change position. So we're actually going to move it and then copy its location in that movement and then move it back so that it moves so that way in actual 3D space and then moves back to where we want it to be. And then so when the mouse is off, it says, hey, we're going to copy the location of where its home basically starting uh, spot is in 3 day space and then move it and then we also want to set it as time to move a um, thousand milliseconds so one second and then set the billboard and also set animated so if we go back to our flash 
enable it again some um uh what do you call it like chromium based uh what do you call it um search engines are actually removing flash so we have our two our 2d planes now are all basically the play button and then corvo 19 are stuck they're not going to move but if we check the play button it moves in 3d space so if you want to do something more I guess in depth you could use it for that also we may use this for our uh, since this is a third person shooter we can actually use this as 3d uh, what do you call it uh, a 3d menu such as in dead space so if I click this boom we're in our in our scene boom okay so with that done we're done with this tutorial. Um, again, guys, sorry if it was this a little not what it used to be or whatever. Um, I've just suddenly started getting back into this. And with my job being as crazy as it is right now, this is a nice way for me to just relax. Again, post uh, stuff that you want to see. This is going to be a full project, actual making of this video game. So you guys get to see it. Again, HTML is being kind of weird. Uh, I'm on the uh, Amberia or Copper Cube forum, so I posted an actual issue about this on that. So if you if you're venturing on those, I'm that was me. Um, and and then you're gonna see this project on Newgrounds and Congregate. So you you should see a link down below along with the project file, so you guys can use it for your own stuff. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.